What's up guys? So we brought you to an abandoned pub in Southport and we've just got in through the back entrance so we're going to go and have an explore see what's here. It looks like it might have been a, a guest house as well so it's very dark, there's no lighting so we're going to do our best with the torches and as we walk about I will tell you how our day's gone because we've risked life and limb life and limb for you guys this last seven days we've risked our lives, we've risked we were almost arrested last Friday night outside the Woodman's Arms in Hebden Bridge, Jeez, loading ladders, yeah. one o'clock in the morning, back into the car by the police. Then we we were just about to enter an abandoned school this afternoon and the dog squad turned up. So we took a quick sharp exit through a fence and went through a walk through a buttercup filled lovely field <laughs> for 20 minutes and come back, <laughs> missed the dog handlers. So this is our third explore today, so we'll see what happens. We're going to keep the noise down, because if we hear anything, particularly sirens, we're hot-footing it out of here. So let's, uh, let's see what there is, Andy. So this was the kitchen, by, all, by the look of things. There's half bottles of beer in here, so people have already been in there anyways. Yeah, look, raw meat, fish, cooked meat, salad, fruit. Yeah, so this was the kitchen area. So... Let's have a look uh, when we go through. Keep the torches low down in case uh, anybody can see through the window. And check the flooring with your feet too. God, we've learned that now. We have learned. We have learned, guys. Well, we have learned the hard way. We have learned by falling through floors <laughs> and all sorts of things. So, this was what was, was the bar by the look of it. Oh, this was like the coffee bar. Look at this. Teapots and things still here. Would you believe it? It's like, when you come into these abandoned places, you just think, think of all the people who used to sit in here having a good time. Do you know what I mean? Having a drink and a laugh and a smoke and a, you know, when you could smoke in the pubs and that's part of the reason why the pub trade's dying. Because people can't smoke in the pubs anymore. And they get behind the bar and rack them up. Go on, do your bartend of it. Let's see if we can get any uh, ghostly bar staff. What will it be? Oh, there's a candle there. Is that a candle in behind you? Has somebody been doing a little bit of paranormal in here? Okay, so sliding down the bar, like they do in America. Sliding down the bar. There's a petrol station over there, so we'll keep the torches a bit low. I don't think anybody really cares around here, to be fair. So this was the bar. So, now that I don't drink anymore, mine's a sparkling water. How exciting is that? What's yours going to be, man? Double JD on the rags. Yeah, it's very, very nice, actually. The bar top's all still marble and stuff. But we're going to might have to make this only a 30-minute one, guys, because we're right on the main street. I'll just show you. And if people see us in here, we're busted. We're busted. <coughs> busted, guys. And to be fair, we've had a couple of near misses this last couple of days. Uh, you know, this last week. So we want to be careful now and just get in, film, show you what we got, and then go. So, yeah, it was very, uh, looked very nice by all accounts at one time, didn't it? Uh, was that the door we just come through? Is that a different door? What, this one? Well, there's another double door down there, going through it to another section of the bar, but I'm just worried about the torchlight. Which, where does that lead to? That's where we've just come from. Right, so if you go, right, we'll go through them double doors, put your torches down until we get through and across the other side. And then we can film around the other side. So it might be a little dark for a minute, guys, because, um, is that door open? Yeah, so just go through to the other side over there. It's the stairs. Do you want to go up the stairs then? Because if we go up the stairs, we, we won't get, uh, the torches won't get seen. We'll get... That's me. Yeah, go on, just go up. That's it. Right, we're going up, guys. I don't want to risk the chance of torches being seen outside, you see, that's why we're better off up here. And keep your ears open for any sounds. Because this town centre is full of lunatics and we don't know if any of them are actually in here right now, you know. 
Yeah, all the abandoned hospitals and mental health hospitals are closed. And all the raving lunatics are here, on the streets. What? Looks like it was three floors this place, doesn't it? Yeah, another bar, guys. This might have been like a club then. Because generally, you have the bar down and the club up, don't you? There's a jacket there. And there's a vape, and there's a plug socket. Look, a jacket. Look at all the Christmas streamers party things still hung up. Looks like somebody's been uh, in here, don't it? Because there's a jacket there. It's all broken doors and radiators and things. This floor feels really, look at it, it's all chipboard. Everything's made of chipboard nowadays. That's still like a beach hut, that. So it probably was like a real fun beach bar kind of place to be at one time. Did you hear a thud then? But it might be this place dropping bits. Look, all the things hanging up still from when it was a beach thing. When it was, uh, Proper the place to be, guys. Probably back in the day. It looks what's become of it now. And the wallpaper look. That can give you some clue sometimes. It looks like 19, late 80s, early 90s wallpaper. 1990s, not 1890s, in case anyone's wondering. I know you know I do like to do the history on these places, but I don't think this place goes that far back. Hmm. Interesting. So this would have been the back. What? It's rain. Rain. So this would have been like a lounge area probably, wasn't it? Or maybe it was where they played pool and stuff. Toilets. Bet there's toilets in there. Does anybody really want to see the toilets? Can have a look, can't we? So we're going to do 30 minutes, guys, and then we're getting out of here because I don't fancy spending the night in the cells. Bet that was the DJ booth. The window there where you can come up and ask for your records. Records. Shows you how far back I'm going, doesn't it? This place probably did have records. It's another, probably where they washed up the glasses and stuff. Is that a safe? That's it. So I think there's another floor in this of this place. So we'll just do as much as we can away from the front windows so that nobody sees the torches. So that we don't get busted. And if we do get busted, then we'll just film the whole experience and it'll be a little bit more entertainment for you guys. We've had a few near misses. But today's near miss involved a couple of dogs which we didn't like the sound of. So we got through a hole and ran, uh, you know, they were, we went the opposite way to where we think they would be looking for us. And we ran through a field, <laughs> a field full of buttercups. So we skipped happily through the field full of buttercups celebrating our escape. And then when we walked back to the car, all the drama was over, so we were okay. But we had to think very quickly on our feet, didn't we? about because it's very windy. Well, what did you hear? What did you hear? But what if it's haunted? Do you want to go through there before we leave? Because we've been very, very much right as being in here as whoever that person is. Keeping the torches down here, guys, because we're right on the main road. And if we get seen, we're going to be in shit, so... <laughs> we'll just walk around this floor, and I think we'll go then, because... Uh, so it's only going to be like a 
15 to 20 minutes this max probably sorry guys but um, it's just a bit too risky the location where it is so what did you hear upstairs all right so we better not go up to the third floor in case there's homeless in or something there might be homeless taking shelter and we don't want to freak them out you know in case they come here quite a lot look at that Kids at the bar, carry out sunglasses. What do you want to do? Do you want to head back out? What does it say on there? Any clues? Alright. Yeah, it's been quite interesting, hasn't it? But uh, the floor is dodgy as hell, though, isn't it? So we'll uh, lay this toilet. I love that, please mind the step. It says please mind the step and there's gaping holes in the floors everywhere. Please mind the step, but you're going to fall down a hole anyway, so it don't really matter. Yeah, there's cushions on the floor, so homeless are sleeping in here. There's the evidence, guys. The homeless are using it. So we don't want to freak the... Jesus. We don't want to freak, we don't want to freak the homeless people out if they're using it. Because let's be fair, you know, if they haven't got anywhere to go and if they find a place like this to, where it's dry and relatively safe. Yeah, that was quite interesting. We'll film a little bit outside anyway before we leave. I think that's why that's on there. Somebody's tagging. Yeah, somebody has. So somebody, looks like the homeless are probably using this place. So we don't want to, uh, Andy heard feet on the third floor. So either it's haunted Oh, yeah, I'm more likely to be homeless because we've seen a few bed covers, aren't we, and pillows and things. So let's just uh, head out and then we'll film d down to the main road. And I think there was a beer cellar out here, I'm pretty sure, on the way in there was a... I saw a beer cellar, didn't I? Okay. This is how we got in, guys. Steps going down to the old beer cellar. Yeah, it's a bit... The old beer cellar down there. Yeah, but we do think they might be homeless. So we don't want to uh, scare the living crap out of them. Let's get this turned in. So that's the best we can do with that place for you, I'm afraid, right now. I think that's why that was that. There was that tie on the door for somebody who's. Yeah, probably. So that's uh, this abandoned pub in Southport. Um, there's one or two other places, but sometimes when you get there, they freshly grilled it all up and it's hard to get in. That's the only place with the with the door wide open. But we went to the third floor and Andy heard feet, so um, you can't... You know, we could go up there, but we'd scare the living crap out of some homeless people. They've got nowhere else to go. You know, it's yeah, a bit um, shit and unfair, yeah, really, I mean, isn't it? I get that, I get that. But We've got water on the lens, by the way, but it's, it's probably raining. probably gone up top. Yeah. Out of the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I understand people don't know if it's safe for somebody. Well, yeah. And obviously they put that tie on the door so they can tie yeah. that up when they come in it later. I know you were and looking precariously at the big pair of scissors lying on the, the stairs there. <laughs> you know. Well, yeah. Can I mean, you just take these torches from me, please, and switch them off, because I can't uh, do this and that. This yeah, time. I mean, yeah, of course you do. Of course, a pair of scissors in an abandoned place that you've never been into. Yeah, it does. Uh, but looked all right in there, didn't it? Back in the day, it probably was like a really nice bar it's with like a dance floor, and then probably had a third bar on the top. When Southport was a kicking place for summer, saying that probably was a really good place to saying go. Saying that, yeah, there was a pair of scissors there, but there was tons of glasses. I think if oh, you mean like beer glasses? Beer glasses and stuff like that. Why are you that? going that way when we're supposed to be going this way? Well, we can walk through this way. See the front of the pub. Oh, can we? All right, let's do that then. Yeah. All right, so we'll just tell them the street, guys, where we're uh, headed. Yeah, you guys can see. So, yeah, but the floor was very... The, a lot of the floors are made of chipboard, aren't they? It was very, very... And when you're walking on them, you can feel it bending underfoot. Yeah, and I think because of the experiences that we've had now falling through the floors in a couple of places. Yeah, I think it was very, very, it was very spongy. Yeah. But well, at the end of the day, we got in there and yeah. we found it. Yeah, yeah. And we've had a good walk around the bar and everything like that. Yeah, because we've had a bit of a rough time with the abandoned lately, guys. We just, we either can get in and people turn up and throw us out. 
Or we can't get in. That's been the option lately, hasn't it? What? Hang on, there's a car coming out of there. What? Yeah. You can go around all there. You get something, don't you? Last minute, sometimes. Just don't give up, guys. You know, if you're doing abandon, just never give up. Just keep on looking, and you eventually, if you go down back streets and things like that, you're likely to find a door open to something, and then you can get in. That's one of the ways we do it, now, isn't it? We have had days where we've sort of not had anything. We've gone and found, like I said, that we found something, and thought, yeah, that'll. You know what I mean? And it's been like. Well, it was okay. What do you mean that one just now? Yeah. It would have been better if we could have stayed longer, really. But yeah, I mean, if there's people in, then. Uh, but people. then again, the weather's rough tonight, so it could be wind or rain or half the roof missing or you know any of them things. And what's a homeless person going to do anyway if you turn up? You know what I mean? So a mad person. <laughs> they startled really, aren't they? <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll just carry on and we're going to go in the front now. Show you the front of it. Uh, see. Uh, is it, uh, what was it called, this place? Is it that? Okay. No, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah because, it, uh, all right, I think I know which one it is now. Leo's. Leo's. Leo's, Leo's bar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we think it was. Yeah, because we looked at the front of this today, Leo's bar, didn't we? That's it. It's Leo's bar. And that's actually where we were just now, on the inside, looking out. So it's three floors, so we were on the first floor. It's two floors, sorry. So we were on the first floor, and you think there's people up on the third floor. Let's not go through the mesh, because we'll just stay on this side of it and film the outdoors, isn't it? Children not to throw stones. <laughs> Shows you what kind of a bear it was, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, right, so well, if they're on the, per the top floor, they're keeping the light out, aren't they? They're not going to be lighting on up there. There was sleeping bags, and there was pillows, and there's a door propped open, so yeah, that tells us that. It's just with that door. It's going to be that, homeless that people in it. The, yeah. That's as though somebody's left the back door. Yeah. So get in. Well, I think probably homeless will help one another, won't they? And if they know of a place. But it's pretty big though, isn't it? So we went all around the downstairs there. And uh, we went up to the, do a little bit of, that's where the multicoloured stripy walls were. And the peeling off wallpaper with the flowers on. And that's about it really, I think. Probably was just the weather batter in the place to be fair, but you never can be too sure because the problem doing this guys is if you get like uh, an eccentric person or a loopy person who's already in there, you know. How yeah, you and you don't. And it could turn nasty. You've you got. Know, a, you, you don't know what the. I know. I know. I probably see some people think, oh, but it's much bigger stuff. But you never know who you're dealing with, do you? Not in homeless people. You, you, you know. You, We've had uh, this with people we've watched, we've watched. You don't know what big people are going to react. You don't know the reasons why they're living rough. Yeah. So you've got to be, you've got to edge on caution. And I know, yeah, I probably am more cautious. But I think because you've done outreach work on I, the streets and with I, drug and, and alcohol I, people, and, and that's and why know, you've seen that side of life. And I know how, and I know how some people react. This and is I just listened. I what was making that noise. I think it's that battering there because that you know when you thought it was people. Yeah. Do you know we walked past this place twice and didn't even think there would be a way in, didn't we? No. Well, obviously uh, there was a way in. So which way are we walking back now? Yeah, we'll go back. Should we walk back round it one more time and then I can film and then we can uh, in case anybody else wants to come and explore this place at Southport. You just go around the back street, the back of Bath Street off yeah. Victoria Street and there's a door propped up and you can get straight in. Yeah. There's three floors. Yeah. So uh, you know if any other people are doing abandoned and want to check it out, that's it. And uh, um, Bath Street. It's on Bath Street in there. Yeah. By two cable ties. Which yeah. You could easy easy snip shot. 
with a pair of scissors. It's either abandoned that's been in and left it open. Yeah. Or yeah. homeless have been in and left it open. Oh, that front door is just held closed with two cable ties. Yeah. Which we figure with somebody with the scissors being there. So oh, of course, yeah. Out. Cable tie it back up. Yeah. Back but it just seemed funny that that door was left wide open. But yeah. as you go through that kitchen bit, yeah. there was as though, some, as though somebody, for somebody, when they've come in at night or whatever, to yeah. tie it up so nobody else can get in. Maybe. That's so it sounds like homeless done it. Yeah. But I think you definitely heard someone at the top, didn't I, you? I, I mean, I, I definitely heard somebody. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, that, that can be a problem, guys, it, you know, just... It, it sounded more like... Feet, feet. Yeah, feet. I'll tell you what though, we'll, uh, we'll end it there. So this 20 minute explore guys, because the, the place wasn't that safe to be sure. And, and to be honest, it's like, we've been thrown out of places today. <laughs> we've had a dog squad and everything chasing us. So we're a little bit <laughs> quit in, film and out. Yeah, you yeah. get it. We'll see you soon. Uh,